okay in this video let's quickly take care of uh, the primary key based operations on these blog and commit models you know what it is very simple we have already used uh, generics dot retrieve update destroy api view right so that is what we are going to use for this uh, blog detail view and uh, comment detail view first of all let's configure the url patterns for this so we currently have two paths for getting all the blocks with the comments and we have another path for the comments okay these two are non-primary key based url patterns and now let's create another one and say blocks forward slash and we will also need the primary key right we'll pass okay not like this it should be int colon pk and close this angle bracket and forward slash then comma views dot we'll have to create a view let's say blog detail view dot as view because it is a class based view right so that's why all right next uh, we will also create another one i'll copy this one and i'll paste it so this time it will be comments comments colon primary key and after that it will be comment detail view comment detail view okay let's save this and let's uh, create these two classes okay let's say class blog detail api view and i will return not return i will pass it okay if it was a function i would have written the return statement here okay just to get rid of the error here okay because uh, however we are going to take care of it in a moment right so for this one i'll write class comment detail view and for now i will pass it okay um has no attribute as view no worries okay so here what we'll do is we'll actually inherit generics dot retrieve update destroy view this will take care of retrieving a single object updating a single object and destroying the object okay similarly we will also pass this one to this comment detail view also all right now you see we don't have any errors all right so in the first class which is blog detail view we will first take care of the query set is equal to blog dot objects dot all and after that we need to provide the serializer class is equal to blog serializer and because this is a primary key based operation we will have to provide the lookup field lookup field is equal to pk so only this much code and it will take care of the retrieving updating and destroying the objects let's check so i will go back to my browser and so this url is giving me all the blocks with the comments right now i want to see the id one right which is the block right let's see if i put one here enter and you see i have got the first block with all its comment because we have configured the nested serializer here right so when you access the blocks it will also come with the comments associated with it all right similarly if i put two here and uh, there is one comment for two and if i put three and you see there are no blog at all okay what if i put four i think i only have two blocks let me quickly check okay i only have two blocks okay so if you want to check you can add more blocks and see you know more blocks more comments and you see okay anyway so this is about the primary key based operation on the blog model and next we will simply take care of the comment detail view as well so it is also very very simple simply pass the query set and change the model here it will be comment dot objects dot all so this is actually not a nested serializer it is just a list of comments right so it will be 
comment serializer okay so i'll delete this okay so i got this comment serializer and after that we need to also provide lookup field which is based on primary key we need to fetch the data okay so if you are working on any big blog application or the e-commerce application where you want to look up the object with the slug instead of primary key then you will have to pass a slug here okay, like this okay so this is how we perform primary key based operations and let's check put comments here okay so we got all the comments and we have you know we will put three here let's see okay so we got this one and you see we have edit form and delete as well okay so you can edit it or delete it you can try yourself it is very simple right okay in the next video we will work on the pagination